Artificial Creeps presents weird, strange, and spooky tales and visuals generated entirely by artificial intelligence. It might contain frightening or disturbing content, and all artificial intelligence models may contain hidden vices learned from their training. Viewer discretion is advised. Lizzie Loomer hated her job. It was her first job after graduating college, and she hated everything about it. She hated her boss, who would berate and insult her constantly. She hated the office building, which was old and creaky and felt like a horror movie setting. And she hated having to work on Halloween. She had plans to meet up with some friend and go out drinking, but instead she was stuck at work. Her boss even asked her to stay late. Can't you just stay an hour? He asked. I need you to help me with some stuff. I really don't want to, Lizzie replied. I have plans tonight. Just an hour, he said. You can leave right after that. Lizzie knew that was a lie. He wanted her to stay late because he was going to make her do his work. He always did that, and she always did it because if she didn't then she'd get written up for fire. She decided against arguing and went back to her cubicle where her boss was waiting with a stack of papers and folders. She had to admit that she was slightly creeped out by having him come all the way to her cubicle, rather than having her go back to his office like usual. But she tried not to let it show. She knew he'd love that. Her boss handed her the paperwork and told her everything she needed to do, which took more than an hour so he would definitely have to keep her past their usual working hours. Lizzie sighed inwardly as she started on the first task, knowing there would be more work once this first batch was done. An hour later, Lizzie finished the first task, which wasn't a bad after all. She expected another batch of work from him, but he didn't give any so she figured he would let her go home now that the first batch was done. Instead, he handed her another stack of paperwork with new instructions on top of it. Tired and annoyed, Lizzie just started on the new batch without asking any questions or complaining this time around, but she didn't have the energy for either anymore. The time flew by quickly, as Lizzie became engrossed in what she was doing and soon another hour had gone by. She was just finishing up when a noise startled her and made her jump in her chair. It sounded like something heavy fell or rolled across the floor in the hallway next to the office door behind which he sat. It sounded like it came from right outside their office door even though that seemed impossible since this office didn't face the hallway but rather looked out onto a large courtyard instead. Lizzie turned around and glanced at the door leading out into the hallway from behind which came the noise, then looked back down at what she was doing before glancing up again when nothing more happened. But now something stood outside their office door in the hallway. It looked like a man, but its face was twisted into a horrible expression of pain and agony as well as anger mixed with something else. It also looked vaguely familiar somehow. Her boss stood behind his desk looking shocked as he stared at Wyver stood in front of their door in disbelief. His expression changed suddenly into one of fear. Lizzie's gaze shifted back down toward where... She had been working only to see something horrible. Written in blood on top of a stack of papers were two words. G-T-O-U-T. -T. 